Shackleton. Run, Jamie Shackleton. And boy, did Jamie Shackleton run. Welcome back to Leeds United. We have done this before, and you got yourselves bloody relegated again. So we're back for more at Elland Road. We are going to take, we hope, Leeds United all the way to the top of the English game. And you never know, maybe, maybe replicate the Jamie Shackleton moment at the end of the final season in the last episode. That is the standout moment alongside the end of the FIFA 18 Southampton save that everybody talks about. The plan is to do it again. You join me at Leeds United. We have updated as many of the January transfer window moves as we possibly could. So we do have at the club right now, Connor Roberts on loan from Burnley. You will have to let me know what you think I should do with the starting lineup. The January, the opening transfer window is closed. So the January transfer window will be the first opportunity in this save. We have to make additions to the squad because of the fact that we've replicated all the January transfer moves of real life. We wanted to kind of play with that for a little bit and see how everything develops before making further changes. So that's my current starting 11. You guys will have to let me know if you think there's any tweaks I should make. If there's any players that are in it that you think shouldn't be. Any players that are not in it that you think should be. And we'll take it from there. Moving forward, we know that the league takes priority. We want Leeds United back in the Premier League as soon as possible. So we will prioritise the championship and getting ourselves up to the Premier League as soon as we possibly can. I will need some help from you guys as to where we send our youth scout or scouts. I may sign some further youth scouts. So where do I send them? I'm probably going to send the English guy to England. Do I sign some more and send them out to the rest of Europe or elsewhere in England looking for other positions or style of player? Do let me know, please. Of course, do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you've got the notification bell ticked and you won't miss another episode of this Leeds United career mode. Leave your comments in the comment section down below and every episode three of you will have your names on the uh, in the board in the background. I'm streaming this live on Twitch and on YouTube as well. Links to both the Twitch channel and the YouTube live streaming channel in the description down below. Now, without further ado, we're going to crack on. We are going to play Ipswich at home and start our championship season, play Wal Watford away and hopefully continue a good start to the championship season. And we'll have a Simmed Cup game against Walsall at home at the end of the episode as well. But as things stand right now, that's my team. I'm led to believe that Gray grows exceptionally well in career mode. So if that's true, if you think I should utilize him, do I play him at right back? Do I put him in at CDM ahead of someone like 22-year-old Ampadu or 27-year-old Kamara? Maybe so. Do I send him out on loan this year and utilize the incoming loan of Connor Roberts at right back for this season? And then Gray hopefully would come back and be good enough to start next year. Let me know. This is your save, Leeds fans, and we will do your will. And what your will is, is win the championship. So that is the aim in season one. That's what we'll look to do. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get into it. Pre-season actually went quite well. We are on match day one against Ipswich Town, and we're about to jump into that. A couple of things I want to show you before we do. I've given Patrick Bamford the captain's armband. I'm aware Pascal Strauch is occasionally captain as well. Liam Cooper is the club captain, I'm led to believe, by my live chat. So if you think someone else should be captain, then do let me know. Obviously, you guys might be deciding to put someone else in the starting lineup that they might then take the captain. Maybe Liam Cooper should start ahead of someone else. Although Cooper at 31 and 72 rated in a more video gamey sense probably won't have too much to say about our season at the moment. You'll be wanting to know what's happening with the objectives as well, rather understandably. Uh, the board want us to win the league. Youth development wise, we should be absolutely fine on that front. I'll show you our Youth Academy Future Star as well in a moment. Brand exposure wise, 10 away, 10 games, 10 games scored in away from home should be doable. Two North American players is going to be a bit of a pain in the backside to do. I will not look to do that unless I need to, to keep my job, which we anticipate not needing to try and artificially force a uh, a job saving scenario but they do want the win in the league automatic promotion would certainly do promotion of any sort would certainly do but the board absolutely critically want the league title so i'll try my best my youth academy player 
is Northern Irish youngster Ethan Donnelly. 78 to 94 potential. You can see his stats on screen there. I will probably call him up to send him out on loan in January for the rest of this first season. And then we'll take it from there. But if you think he might maybe be worth coming into the first team picture by January, we'll wait and see how things go and how he grows. And again, please do let me know where to send my youth scouts. That would be fantastic. And for those of you that are on the Patreon, I know you'll be you'll be desperate to know. We are now playing on PC. That's the only way to avoid the bug that we had in the Berlin save. Using the live editor. So we are actively modding the game on PC. Meaning that I don't necessarily have to wait until the beginning of a new save to get you guys in. So if you were thinking about joining the Patreon, having your player in-game but hadn't gotten around to it or had forgotten and wanted to be in this lead save, I can add you in at any point if you would like to join. Of course, it's a, a financial commitment, so it's not for everybody, but if you would like to, then you can do. With regards to VIP Patreon players, I'll do you a separate video going through all of you that will be a small video probably not that small given my uh, past, that will be solely on Patreon. So do head over to the Patreon page and have a look at that post when it goes live, which will be at some point this week, if not already live by the time you see this. But we have loads of you in here. You're all at your designated clubs or free agents. And of course, we will be tracking your careers in due course. That's the wrong spreadsheet says in classic seasonoid fashion. We will be tracking your careers and your growth as we progress through the step of, through the season. There are uh, a lot of you, actually 65 of you currently on my shortlist. So that's going to be super intriguing to see how everybody grows this year and how things adapt as we move forward. Moving forward though, we've got everybody in the right place, fatigue wise and sharpness wise. I'm going to try my best to micromanage that better than I normally do. And as such, we are in a great position to hopefully start the season very well. A number of teams have already played, as you can see. Some have drawn, some have won. And we certainly would like to be one of the latter. We face, in real life, surprise outfit Ipswich Town in our first game. It's only fitting that our first game back at Leeds is at Leeds at Elland Road. Let's go and take on Ipswich Town. Let's start the season right. Yeah. Right, we'll try and raise morale a little bit if we can. That's what my managerial character is going to look like. You might notice a bit of a difference in frame rate, actually, from some of the cutscenes. On PC, the frame rate, I believe, is unlimited, or at least higher than it is on console. So the menus will look significantly smoother than they do on, uh, on console, which is nice. But that's what my guy's going to look like for the time being. We've actually had someone in the process of recording this first episode now get added into the Patreon. So we've got an extra Patreon player in here. Ipswich's starting lineup is going to mirror us formation wise. Walton in goal, Davis, Wolfenden, Donassien, Clark, Burns, Morsey, Taylor, Harness, Connor Chaplin is going to be deadly at Cam if we give him the opportunity. And uh, Caden Jackson up top's quite fast in a straight line. Options on the bench, including Brandon Williams, as you can see there. Kiefer Moore on loan from Bournemouth. That's a January transfer in this save now. So we shall wait and see how we do. Of course, do cut me some slack in my first ever game playing with this Leeds United side. If we do lose, then we will improve. But if we can start with a decent baseline, then I'd be very, very happy indeed. So... <laughs> Let's go and see what happens, shall we? And one final update before gameplay, sliders. They are the same as the Berlin save. I will quickly scroll through them here. If you would like to see them in more detail, then you can come to my live streaming channels and put exclamation mark sliders in chat and a bot will respond with the sliders. I have also actually bought that away kit too. So we'll alternate throughout the course of the save between which shirts we're wearing, which would be quite nice. I've not done that before. It was buy one, get one free on the Leeds website. So why bloody not? Leave Davis forward from left back. Taylor and Davis again. Try and get stuck in if we can. Taylor coming forward. Little ball roll. Little dummy. Marcus Harness in the box. Support here from Leaf Davis again. Another little back heel. It's with some good possession play. 
Harness to Morsey. Sam Morsey finds Wes Burns. I mean, this is solid enough defensively so far from Leeds United, isn't it? So far, that is. Yes, Pascal. Brilliant. And we'll dink that with Somerville to ensure it reaches Bamford, which it actually didn't do. But Ampadu trying to get the ball to a teammate. Caught in possession. It is Leeds dominant. Sorry, Ipswich dominance in his opening stages possession-wise. But we have stood firm thus far and continue to do so. Get out. Win that. Well up. Rutter's going to get there. I have a feeling Rutter is going to be instrumental in this save moving forward. I tell, tell you what, I'm loving Wilfred Nonto. He's in. He's injured the Ipswich man, but he doesn't care. Can he find a teammate? Yes, he can. Rutter on his favourite left foot. It's blocked, unfortunately. Leif Davis is injured, and he might actually have to come off here. He's still down. It would be the sporting thing to do to kick it out. His teammates aren't doing that for him, though, so I won't either. But... Yep, the referee is going to bring attention over. Leif Davis is, unfortunately for him, finished for today. I'm going to have to give that back to them, aren't I? <laughs> By unceremoniously smashing, smashing it into Wes Burns' face and then running away with it. Bamford. Here's Nonto. Wilfred Nonto! Leeds! Lead! And we hopefully will say that a number more times. Quite unsporting. Former Leeds player Leif Davis sold to Ipswich, plays for Ipswich against Leeds, might potentially have ruptured his ACL, and in the giving them possession back, we just whacked it against their player's face, tackled him, and went and bloody scored! Leeds won! Ipswich nil! Marching on together! Burns down the line. Furpo is fast, Furpo is strong, Furpo gets in well. Clark with the throw for Ipswich Town. They've had a exceptional season in real life thus far, Ipswich. I fear they might not have quite such success in this save. But, oh! It's got to go! He's gone! What a terrible, calamitous day for Ipswich Town. Back in the championship for the first time in a couple of years. Oh my God, it's horrendous. It's so bad. They lose their left back through injury, and now their captain two foots me at the back of the knee and gets sent off in the 34th minute. We do have referees set to strict. Referees could be set to the most lenient ever. That's still a red card. Chaplin quickly forward to Caden Jackson. If they get him in behind, we're not catching him. 1 0 lead is still a dangerous one, but so far, one that looks relatively safe. Gray forward. Rutter, you can see their back line just holding their line then. Nonto looking for Gray, who's no slouch in a straight line. Try and cut inside here, look for Bamford. Patrick Bamford has Rutter, and surely now, Leeds United 2. Ipswich Town 10 men, Ipswich Town 0. That'll be three points on opening day, thank you very much. Ampadu trying to stop them from getting through and doing well. Apparently not. Causing a foul. Connor Chaplin with a free kick for them then on his left foot from well, best part of 30 yards. He is going to go for it though. And it was destined for the back of the net if the keeper didn't get there. Worth a go. Taylor. Oh, nice little change of pace there. Into Kiefer Moore. Never mind. Tough ta ta pal. You haven't got the ball anymore. Piro. That'll be the game. That'll be the game. Oh, he's going to let Jamie get forward. Run! Oh! I didn't even get to finish it. <laughs> a 2-0 win against recently promoted 10 men Ipswich Town is a great way to start the season, but isn't necessarily the sort of test we should expect week to week in terms of trying to get promoted. Watford, our next opponents, will be a, a better side on paper than Ipswich Town. So we'll jump back now. And we'll see just what Watford are all about. But the boys are happy in the dressing room this time around. Clean sheet for Millier and the rest of the defence. Great debuts for a couple of players. And a double goal win. You love to see it. Now, in the comments section of the previous video that was on the main channel, when I asked you guys about some of the details for this Leeds save, you were very vocal, Leeds fans, about not wanting to include some of the players that are currently out on loan when they return. Players like Brendan Aronson, Robin Koch, 
Mark Rocker, Luis Sinistera, players that were with the club, went out on loan when they got relegated, and you guys don't want them back. Is that everybody that's out on loan? Or from this list, are there players you would like to see stay? Darko Giabi, I imagine you'd want to see stay. That's more of a developmental loan. Uh, Perveda, I don't know. He's gone to Sheffield Wednesday. I don't know whether that's a developmental loan or whether you guys just don't want Perveda anymore. And then at the bottom of the list, there was Luke Ayling, who's 31 now, probably just not good enough loan. Gone to Middlesbrough, though, who are challenging or want to challenge for promotion. So we'll wait and see how well he does there. Obviously, these guys are higher rated and will be valued higher. Make us as rich as we could possibly dream if we get promoted or even if we don't get promoted. Uh, so we'll wait and see what you guys reckon with those currently in, or, sorry, out on loan players. Anthony is in on loan, so I've made the decision to put Joe Gelhart on the bench ahead of Jaden Anthony. So he will be bent, he will be reserve only for the time being, and Gelhart will be the go-to off the bench in either a cam or a wide position. Although Dan James will be the go-to for wide. Couldn't have asked more in game number one, though. Very, very, very happy with that. Up next will be Watford. 80 to 94 potential now for Ethan Donnelly. That's from 78 to 94. So we expect him to be very, very good. And it looks like he will be given first team opportunities. Watford won their first game. We start the season, though, second. But this next one will be a different matter altogether. Away from home, too. Four at the back, a 4-3-3 for them. Bachman, Morris, Portiers, Hoot, Andrews, Kayembe, Kone, Deli, Bashiru, Ince, Dennis and Hurtado. Dennis in on loan from Forest. Another one of the January window loan moves that we made. So they've got options on the bench as well. But it's a side we should be beating. There aren't many sides in the, in the division that we shouldn't expect to beat, to be fair. So we'll do what we can. Great. Nonto inverted in that gap. Bamford, Rutter, already got one. Was set up by Bamford in that moment as well, but not able to get the shot away. This time, the defence deal with that sort of build-up, which is what Ipswich weren't able to do. Brilliant play from Gray again. And Bamford's here again. And there's that runner from Rutter, for, from Rutter even. But Backman out to it. That's the difference between Ipswich and Watford. And that's what we should expect from these more difficult games. But at the minute, we are bossing possession. And Watford just can't get rid of it. But we can't get it in the back of the net at the same time. Maybe the other way around? Maybe, oh, maybe Rutter to Bamford is the answer to break down this Watford back line. At the minute, it refuses to be broken down. Catardo turns on it. Strouk's in the way. He's been rock solid so far. Pascal, very impressed. Player that didn't really see the light of day, actually. In the first save we did at Leeds. But he has come of age. Certainly. It was four years ago we did that Leeds save. A lot can change in that sort of period in football. A lot can change in one year. Bamford. Do we go for the worldie? We shouldn't have. Nonto's off on a run. And when he goes. We send. Although. Take a little while for Patrick Bamford to catch up. Ampadu. Then to Bamford. Back to Ampadu. Here comes Gray around the outside. An early delivery. Oh, on the volley. Somerville! Dream stuff at Vicarage Road. What a start to the second half. Somerville gives us the advantage. And it was going to take a moment of that sort of quality to break this Watford team apart. Consider them broken. Lovely back heel from Nonto. Gray with the delivery. Chest control superb. And a half volley into the top corner. Up the whites. Come on. What a goal. Genio to Nonto. Bamford on the run. Slot him in. The goal he scored against Peterborough in real life was just sensational. If he can do that for me in this save, I'll be absolutely buzzing. Furpo's in behind here. Needs to stand up to try and find a teammate. Was going to find one. Kamara down. Bamford on his right. It's wide. Certainly stronger on his left. But on his right foot this time, not good enough. And he's going off the pitch now, actually. Rutter's going to go up top for me. We're brought on Joe Gelhart at Cam. And Bamford has uh, taken a seat on the bench for now. Oh, that change of pace is just undefendable, really. Emmanuel Dennis into the box. Emmanuel Dennis. Melier saves. 
twice. I tried to clear it with Strout and just couldn't. Don't let them square it to a teammate. He's gone for goal again. The home side in the ascendancy in the last 10 to 15 minutes. Ken Semmer coming on for Kayembe. Short corner. Emmanuel Demis. Tennis to Ince. And Semmer. And Ince again. Dangerous this. Very dangerous. Gray wins the header. How instrumental has he been today? Shiri through the gap. Andrews. Nice ball into Bayo. Off the bench here. Watford coming forward. Emmanuel Dennis. Melier tips over the top. It is not easy to keep these guys out. Dan James coming on for uh, Crescencio Somerville there. Made another change as well to bring Loney Connor Roberts on for Gray. And Ampadu has been dominant in either game so far today. As has Pascal Strauch, as has so far Melier as well in goal. No goals conceded in our first two games thus far. And we're just going to see this one out from here, I think. Just pass it around. Almost take the mick with doing so. But game management could be the difference between getting to the Premier League and not making it up to England's top flight again. So I'm just going to do this when I need to because, quite frankly... I'm going to need to if we're going to see through the results we, we want to. And Watford were in the ascendancy very much so in the latter stages of that game. That's a dub. That's back-to-back -back victories to start the day in the championship and in this save. We'll try and get ourselves through to the next round of the Carabao Cup as well. Good opportunity for fringe players to get some first-team football. But very, very happy to start the way that we started in the championship. That title might be doable, you know. We're also going to be playing five at the back here. Intriguing to see Tom Knowles in there at right wing back. Former Cambridge United man. I think he might even still be wearing a Cambridge United kit in his mini face picture. It should be a winnable game quite comfortably. On the bench, Brad Breakwell, Patreon player. So we might see him at some point during the game. With this one, we will simulate, but we do the tactical view sim. So we watch the game, so you guys actually get to physically see uh, if the or when the goals go in, what they look like as they go in, rather than just simming and you guys seeing either dots running around or something that just looks a bit odd. Uh, we'll give Carl Darlow a game. We'll also throw Gruev in there. He's been whining a little bit about not getting any game time. So I'm actually going to put Gray into the midfield here, and then we'll put Roberts on at right back. And other than that, in fact, it's almost an entirely different 11, isn't it? So let's go and see if we can get the win against Walson in the Carabao Cup. Gruev and Gelhart, Piro, Gray. He's making a run there on the left-hand side, but not gone to him. Gruev, lovely ball. Piro on his right foot draws the save out of Barrett. He's left-footed, Piro. So surprised that he took the early shot on on his weak foot. But forced the save. It was close. Ball floated in and flicked on. And no goal. But it's all pressure from Leeds United at the minute. Gelhart and Pirro still on his right. This time makes no mistake. Buried into the back of the net. Leeds United 1, Walsall nil, And the result that you thought should be coming is now doing so. Corner leads. Dan James on it. Whipped well. One well by Gelhart, but going wide. Still recovered, though, by Gruev. Thought about going all the way. Still might go all the way. Gelhart's in. Two! Leeds United not letting Walsall get away with a cup set here. This, this is a hell of a mazy run from Gruev. Piro to Dan James. Piro again. He's got options on the edge of the box here, Dan James. Gruev in the box. He was been itching to play. And to be fair to him, has played very well when given the opportunity. Albeit against League 2 opposition, but he's played very well. So's that man. That's his second goal of the day. Tackle well in Liam Cooper. Leading by example, as you'd expect. Dan James running away from everyone, as you'd expect. Yep, still going. Support arriving. And found well. Jamie Shackleton off the bench here. Run, Jamie Shackleton. Don't forget the ball, Jamie Shackleton. 
Shackleton's still there. And options in the middle. Jamie could go for goal. It's Gelha on a hat-trick. Pirro, Anthony, four! Took a while in coming, but the move built well. And we really have now a shine to the scoreline. 4 0. Gordon spins in behind. Walsall with a goal back. Wow. Everybody's furious at the back line. It, maybe don't over celebrate it too much. You are 4 1 down, lads. But fair enough. Have your moment in the sun. A goal at Ellen Rhodes. Lovely turn. Terrible defending. And they're in behind. All right. 4-1. No clean sheet for Carl Darlow this time around. Or for Leeds United this time around, should I say. Because Carl Darlow hasn't kept a clean sheet yet. This is his first game for me. Gelhart in on a hat-trick. It's still going to be a very comfortable win for Leeds United here today. But Gelhart on his hat-trick. Gelhart has his hat-trick. Five. Sorry, Walsall. You will lose by four or more. Dan James, Pirro, four or more. You're going to lose by five. Sorry, Walsall, that is six, one. I think we can rely on these fringe players in these early cup rounds, don't you? Sometimes you're not really sure how well it's going to go. Other than the clean sheet, I really don't think it could have gone better. Final whistle sounds... Cheers around the ground. Really well attended game for a Carabao Cup first round tie. Joe Gelhart with the hat trick and the match ball and holding it like a bowling ball with his thumb inside it. But it is what it is. Fair play. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the season, really, could we? Thumping victories in the cup. Or thumping victory in the cup. And solid victories against Watford and Ipswich. In the next episode tomorrow, we will be taking on the rest of the calendar month with Bristol City, Plymouth, Sunderland and Cardiff. And then we'll be cracking on with the rest of the season. Month at a time is the plan. So in the league, P3 at the moment. Three goals scored, none conceded. Stoke lead the way. Leicester up there, as you might well expect. Although slightly leaky, three goals conceded by Leicester City. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of episode one. I'd love to see you in episode two. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you click that notification bell and you won't miss out on more. The next video will, of course, come to you tomorrow. So make sure you're watching. I'll see you then.